Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the different options within the pattern tool. You should have some kind of artwork that you would like to create a pattern from. I will show you what will happen if you don't have any artwork ready. To make a pattern, go to Object, select Pattern and choose Make. Now an information dialog box will open, telling you that the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. And here you can see it. However, the pattern will appear blank. If I close this window, you will notice an empty tile box. And now you are ready to create your artwork directly inside this tile. Let's undo this and get some ready artwork from the symbols panel. First make sure that the swatches window is open. Then select your artwork and drag it into the swatches panel. Your swatch has been added and now you can delete everything from the artboard. To open the pattern options window menu, double click on the new swatch. This box shows a preview and the tile is automatically sized to your artwork. If you press the Ctrl and Y keys on your keyboard to get to the outline mode, you can better see the artwork inside this tile. Right now you can see many copies of the artwork. In the Pattern Options window menu, you can control this and other features. For example, you can dim copies to zero or make them 100% visible. You can give your pattern a name. And now you can see this name in the swatches panel as well. There is also an option to change the amount of your artwork's copies that you would like to see. If you wish to make any changes to the artwork itself, first select everything and then make your changes. Let's resize it for example. Notice that the artwork extends now beyond the blue tile edge. You have an option of moving tile with your artwork. And you can size the tile to your artwork by checking this box. You can also control the amount of spacing between tiles by changing the horizontal and vertical values. Larger values cause the tile to grow larger than the artwork and create empty space between tiles. Let's deselect and select again the size tile to art option to go back to the previous mode. There is also the pattern tile tool icon which allows you to control the spacing between tiles directly on the screen. Just click on any of the control handles, hold and drag. You can also change the overlaps from left in front to right in front and top in front to bottom in front. Let's undo all changes by sizing tile to art again. There are also many types of tiles you can choose from. Right now the tile is set to grid. In this mode, the center of each tile is horizontally and vertically aligned to the center of the adjacent tiles. In Brick by Row, tiles are rectangular in shape and arranged in rows. In Brick by Column, they are also rectangular in shape but arranged in columns. And there are two more types. Hex by column, where tiles are hexagonal in shape and arranged in columns. And hex by row, where they are arranged in rows. Let's select brick by row. In brick modes, with the pattern tile tool still selected, you can modify brick offset directly on the screen. To do that, click on the little diamond mark in the center and slide it right or left. Let's adjust the spacing a little bit more. And when you are done, you can exit this mode either by clicking on this arrow in the corner or by pressing the escape key on your keyboard. With the pattern swatch still selected, draw a rectangle to see how it will look on a shape.
If you still need to make additional changes, double click on the swatch to open the pattern options window. And now you can change the color of the leaves, for example. Add some little circles. And when you exit this mode, your pattern should be automatically updated. Now you can create other shapes and use this pattern to fill them with it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.